waiting for me and I thank you the uh, Prague party guys for this live lightning talk for five minutes and uh, I will now try to really continue with the demo and uh, we have a rule that going with live demo is the best way how to find back so thank you for all for the for coming here and uh, getting this one done Okay, so another bug is that I, okay. So again, I will try to create a new host called Rubislava Foreman. I will hopefully use Libvirt and the Foreman template that will deploy this whole machine. We now see that the IP address was really reserved. Round of applause! <laughs> And now I really should uh, hit the button and it should provision. I'm sorry that the wow effect is already gone, but... So, it's there. And I will now just open the console and see the machine being provisioned from scratch and we can watch this for 20 minutes to wait. <laughs> Okay, so we have some time, so let's talk about why we uh, do this. So, uh, I found this picture today and uh, it reminds me the good old days when, when you really wanted something to provision. You, it was some kind of ritual that you get the CD and put it in your hard drive, get it in, then set up the bootloader, then enter uh, to ten times enter enter some uh, configuration things, set the uh, these and partitions and everything. Set what will be installed there. Everything uh, by your hands, and then you start with configuration with your uh, or configuring your server to do the right thing. And it was nice or good for quite a long of time. But as the tools for configuration and management, and we saw a lot of them uh, during this evening involved, then that what happened was that the configuration itself of the system took much shorter time than before. And uh, so what it meant was that setting or provisioning the machine and putting the CD in and everything uh, took enormously more time than the configuration itself. So, uh, obviously, another thing that needed to be get faster was provisioning itself, and that's wha what I've just done here. So we, we can still see that the job is going on, so we just skipped about five enter clicks, choosing the time zone and everything. So we continue provisioning. So, and another thing recently appeared is the cloud that everybody is talking about. And I will talk, tell you a secret that cloud is nothing else than a lot of systems, a lot of machines, you know, this buzzword. So, we just need something that will replace the putting the CD in. So, uh, what we do, and another thing that appeared recently was the virtual. Uh, virtualization so in, instead of putting the CD into your hard drive you put the CD into some virtual drive and but you do the same the same thing uh, also with virtualization uh, instead of having 10 machines that you have in your data center or whatever you use you get 100 machines because every machine can run 10 virtual machines so you just get more machines and everything and you need to automate the thing uh, to keep your sane. So that's what we do. And that's what the foreman really tries to solve. And the foreman is not just for provisioning, but it's the whole lifecycle management tool. And the first thing that it does is the provisioning. So uh, I can maybe show this picture. So at the end, you get the system up and running. Then you initially configure the thing and for, for this step we use the puppet uh, for now so that 
uh, basically it gets the machine into the state that we described and the third thing that we need to solve is that just configuring the machine is not the, the end of the process you need to keep it updated, you need the update configuration uh, runs some uh, commands during the whole si life cycle till the machine retires and you need also to repeat these steps as often as possible if you, of course if you need it, but if you have all the tools then you find out that getting a new machine is much easier than trying to fix the uh, current one so it tries to commoditize the uh, whole system management if uh, previously if you had the system you would try to keep it up and running as long as possible because you, not, you knew how many time you, you spend with the setting it up if your machine will uh, get up and running during uh, 30 minutes talk then you don't have special feeling for this machine so uh, I will now get into the uh, architecture that we have in Foreman and I will basically describe what happened when I hit the button there so we see the system is still being provisioned what now will happen probably the reboot of the machine so the, uh, yeah. so the format itself is a Ruby on Rails app it's open source project you can find it on github it has quite vivid community so check it out and so the format itself the UI and the API is Rails application that uses a smart proxy concept that basically means that you install some small applications on uh, services or, or servers where your network services are running so uh, you can install it on the system where you are running DH DHCP, DMS, TFTP and Puppet Master basically and what it does is that in DHCP it reserves the IP address for the name in, in DNS it creates the reverse uh, record uh, in Puppet it sets the proper environment and what classes should be uh, configured and in the TFTP it sets the pixie boot so after making this request to the smart proxy former basically prepares the whole infrastructure or the network environment that you need to get the system up and running so after I finish this talk I will have a DNS I will have IP address and I will have uh, Puppet configured properly to set this machine up so uh, Formen also uh, has a multi-tenancy inside so you can use it for running let's say uh, multi-organization thing if you have a large organization or if you try to build some kind of hybrid cloud provider whatever it means and another thing is that Formen abstracts the way how you use the uh, computer resources so no matter if it's bare metal and you would be surprised but bare metal uh, starts gaining some attention again with the uh, arm based computers because having uh, one arm is basically cheaper than having the virtual machine for some purposes and of course you need the hypervisors for virtualization set up as well and surprisingly the hypervisors still are bare metal and then you can use the same process for provisioning on the virtualization sol solutions that you run inside your company or you can use the same process for running in the infrastructure as a service providers such as EC2 or Rexspace so everything you set up just once and you can then choose whatever you want so uh, as I mentioned previously it's just a summary how it's done and I'll, I can maybe show more details because we, because we are in the uh, we have technical audience here so right now we have the system in a state that the first call from Puppet was successful and now we basically wait for the Puppet configuration to finish and during this time 
I can show you how the first step, the provisioning, uh, basically happens. So I have here provisioning templates, which allow us to abstract the configuration of the uh, installation and use that for many, ta uh, many times for many systems. So I will just show what I've used here. And basically it's set of commands 